Well, Singapore says it does not want to choose sides in the U.S.-China row, nor does it want lines drawn in Southeast Asia. The Foreign Affairs Minister says there is space for an updated multilateral rules-based system and peaceful resolution of disputes, whether that's contractual or even military. Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan was speaking in the U.S. at a dialogue on foreign relations. What we want is overlapping circles of friends. We want to give both the United States and China and Europe and other emerging poles real stakes in the peace, prosperity and development of Southeast Asia. And by giving everyone an incentive to create peace and development in Southeast Asia, we also hope that a stable balance of power will emerge. Dr. Balakrishnan described tensions across the Taiwan Strait as, quote, a short fuse. He said Singapore is worried about the risks of a confrontation there, but stressed at the same time that it is not inevitable. Let me just state for the record, uh, we have our One China policy. We are opposed to Taiwanese independence, and we are also opposed to any unilateral attempts to change the status quo. Or the other way of putting it is that we hope there will be peaceful resolution of the differences. How that will happen or when that will happen, we don't know. But peace is the paramount objective. Dr. Balakrishnan met with U.S. members of Congress as part of his working visit to Washington, D.C. He welcomed their support for stronger ties between both countries and America's commitment to enhance its presence in the region. The Foreign Affairs Minister also took part in talks on how Singapore and the United States can work together on cyber deterrence and resilience, as well as on Southeast Asia's energy transition. He also had a phone call with U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman. Or they reaffirmed joint efforts in areas such as climate, cybersecurity and regional cooperation. 